the regimen during the day. Snacking is essential, right? Having small portions throughout the day that keep your blood sugar levels steady and also keep you full. Uh, and the snacking, again, the same approach I would recommend balancing complex carbohydrates with protein, having an apple or banana with nut butters, right? Having an egg with the whole grain toast, That's those are great options. Or having, for example, yogurt, you compare, you're combining yogurt with a fruit, right? Yogurt has all the uh, protein as well as fat. Other things that I would recommend is water. Water becomes essential. Water is um, what our body is comprised of. 50 to 60 percent of our body is made of water, right? And water is where the, all the essential um, processes are taking place. And taking and running takes a lot of uh, water out of us, right? Through sweat and through breathing. So hydrating and having an average three to five liters of water per day is essential. So I recommend to my clients to have water bottle on their hands, on their purse, on their table, or during running, making the stops and hydrating, it becomes essential. For specific, um, specific um, meals before and after, before I would recommend having a meal, whether you're training off um, in the morning, still a uh, recommendation is to have breakfast. So you have that energy to burn, to get, keep you um, energized, to keep you going. And then for the recovery right after, again, balanced meal becomes essential, right? To restore your glycogen levels and to um, rest repair your muscles, right? S having protein, in combination with complex carbohydrates as well as fats is very important. And lastly, I would mention supplements. A lot of people are investing a fortune in the supplements that are not necessarily um, become that important. Having all of the essential nutrients from food is much more beneficial because it comes with a variety of benefits things like fiber things like um carriers of like probiotics those things we can't uh those are the best they're assimilated in our bodies in the best way when it comes from real foods the supplements can give you the essential value of the amount of nutrient that is required but it doesn't give you the entire scope the entire benefit of what the real food could give you so my recommendations when i'm in the balanced diet is to have all kinds of foods like be educated choose the best right choose the highest quality but have the entire uh, rainbow of colors the entire rainbow of vegetables choose the variety of complex carbohydrates that are made of whole grains choose uh, fruits for snacking and stay hydrated choose lean protein and monounsaturated fats and that will be it for today